well hello guys and welcome to the chem crown channel where i share interesting and exciting information about the most basic concepts of chemistry if this video helps you to learn a little bit about this subject then please like the video share the video with your friends on different platforms and don't forget to give me a thumbs up while watching this video at some point today we are going to discuss the Dalton's atomic theory who proposed this theory the answer to this question is this theory was proposed by an English school teacher John Dalton now the question is why he proposed this theory to answer this question he basically proposed this theory to explain the law of mass conservation and the law of definite proportion now by the law of mass conservation we means that mass can neither be created nor destroyed in any chemical reaction now the law of definite proportion can be defined as whenever we take uh, different samples of a pure substance from different places or from different sources and we find out the uh, atomic mass ratios between the different atoms in each and every single sample we will find out that exactly the same and this is what we mean by the law of definite proportion and the Dalton's uh, atomic theory is a super handy tool to explain the uh, law of definite proportion and law of mass conservation now let's discuss the important points of the Dalton's atomic theory and the first point of the Dalton's atomic theory is that elements are made up extremely small particles which are indivisible in nature and they are called atoms now we should keep it in mind that uh, atoms of one element are exactly similar in each and every aspect because they have the same atomic masses and uh, remember that Dalton characterizes uh, the elements by its atomic masses so that's why the atoms of one element are different from the atoms of the other element so here you can see this example we have the iron sheet and if we zoom out this uh, small portion which is represented by a small rectangular area if we zoom out this area then here you can see that uh, this uh, small portion is made of extremely small particles and these particles are called atoms which are definitely iron atoms they arrange themselves in a way to make this iron sheet the second important point of the Dalton's atomic theory is that the element is composed of only one kind of a particles so these particles are exactly similar to each other but if we compare it with the atoms of the other element then they will be exactly different from each other because in this case the two different elements are characterized by two different atomic masses so here you can see the iron atom and sodium atom sodium atom a sodium atom has atomic mass of 23 gram and iron atom has atomic mass of 56 grams so the atoms of sodium are different from the atoms of iron metal the third important point of the Dalton's atomic theory is that whenever a chemical reaction happens atoms always join together by simple whole number ratios so whenever a chemical reaction happens you see the reactants and products always in simple whole numbers for example think about these compounds as a product of any chemical reaction and now you see that there is no fractional part involved here the numbers of all the atoms are given in simple whole numbers so there is no fractional part in this case the last point of the Dalton's atomic theory is that during any chemical reaction the atom itself don't change but it's only the way of arrangement which changes for example in this case two moles of hydrogen gas reacts with one mole of oxygen and it gives us two moles of water so here you can see that the atoms itself don't change but it's only the arrangement in the product side which changes the biggest drawback of the Dalton's atomic theory is that 
he had no idea about the structure of the atom but later on J.J. Thompson resolved this problem.